Karen Pence, the vice president's wife and lead ambassador to the VA's Prevents Task Force, tells Newsy Americans need to pay attention to their mental health now more than ever before. A lot of us are going through something we've never gone through before, and it can be a little scary and very intimidating. And that's especially true for veterans who have higher suicide rates than civilians. Dr. Barbara Van Dalen, who heads the task force, says more veterans are seeking help. There have been um, some increase in, in calls to um, the Veterans Crisis Line, for example. And private services also report seeing an uptick in calls. Within a few days of the stay-at-home orders being put in place, uh, we, we were hearing many veterans reaching out to us saying that they already felt depressed, were already feeling anxiety. Chelsea Elder runs Adaptive Adventures, a Colorado-based organization encouraging the physical and mental health of veterans who have disabilities. She says she's taken the program's physical exercises online. We pivoted everything. We had our staff members take trailers home filled with equipment, and we just started going to um, providing these programs via either Zoom-based programs where everybody can join in and participate. And Pence says the advice being given to vets can help all Americans, things like getting enough physical exercise and maintaining a routine. So you kind of need to think, what are the things that help me? But then especially you need to schedule those things into your day. So I've been telling families a great thing to do um, is to say, okay, every day from two to three, we're going to read as a family. For our kids, this is kind of like their 9-11. This is a crisis that they're trying to understand that affects the entire country. And they need to talk about it. Pence says people have to find connections while maintaining social distance. As someone, speaking very candidly, who struggles with anxiety and depression, it's getting difficult to self-isolate. And then we see um, mm. people across the country who are tired of self-isolating. We see protesters, we see people going out. Is the message coming from this White House still going to be, we need to social distance at this time? You know, I don't know what each governor is doing for their state. I, I first of all, just want to say thank you for saying you struggle with anxiety and depression. But honestly, I think, you know, it's important to uh, still follow the physical mitigation that we're supposed to be doing, washing our hands, staying home if we feel sick, wearing the mask, social distancing, coughing into our sleeve, not touching our face. All of those things are really important right now. And I think it's a way to respect others, you know, to make sure that that if you happen to be carrying the virus, you don't infect someone else. Mrs. Pence and the VA want to reiterate that help is available. The number for the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline is on the screen. Press one if you're a veteran. And of course, that line is open to anyone in need of help. Amber Strong Newsy in Northern Virginia.